Welcome to the video guys, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we will work with the GoHigh Level Funnel Builder, but unlike my other Funnel Builder videos, this one is a bit different because in this video, we won't be creating anything from a template and we won't be creating it from scratch. That's right, we will use the pre-built sections, uh, which is a new feature. It's not that new, I mean, it's it's been there for months, but I'm making this video using pre-built sections for the first time, so it's new for me. Anyway. I've been using this for a long time and uh, I would like to show you how I create really high converting pages uh, in Go High Level using the pre-built sections, not using any templates or not creating from scratch. So these methods uh, can be applied to create any type of high converting page for any purpose for any business. So let's just go ahead and create a new funnel. We'll just call it pre-built uh, template funnel so just so I can identify it later anyway. So I'll just name it. Uh, you can name it anything you want again. And uh, I'll just create it from scratch. So I'll just landing page uh, and then create funnel step. So let's just open this up in the funnel builder. So here we're going to do a few things. We're going to logically implement a few layouts from the pre-built sections. And then I'll just show you what uh, I'll just talk about what you need to do, what changes you need to do in the uh, in the funnel page that we created using the pre-built section. So let's just go ahead and go to pre-built sections instead of creating any sections, row columns, elements here. The first thing you need to do is you need to add the top fold, which we call hero section or we call top fold. We call it the banner. You can call it anything really. But what I usually go for is something that um, you know calls people out like the call out headline and at least three bullet points and a call to action and a testimonial so that's that's basically what i need on any type of lead capture page or appointment booking page so again headline bullet points testimonials and a call to action the call to action can be a form or a button you're basically asking people to take an action that's the call to action so here i would select let's just see so here i would select either this one or i would select this one so let's just go with this one so i'll just drag and drop this and as you can see here's the logo so you need to update your logo here you need to update your your email if you don't want the email just get rid of it i would just get rid of everything from here and i will just keep it center aligned so attention target audience so attention i would say tampa florida uh, residents you know this this section is used to grab attention of your target audience so if my target audience is tampa florida residents it's this is what it is if it's tampa florida homeowners or if it's nashville homeowners you know it, it can be anything main headlines so i would just do get a complimentary chiropractic adjustment at 99 only just do 60 or I could just do even less 48. Okay, looks good. So about the bullet points, I can just put my bullet points here, like, you know, just some short texts. So I would, I will just put here, um, get a $350 worth evaluation for 99 only offer expires. I don't know next week, uh, or, you know, yeah, next week or something. I, I wouldn't do next week. I, I would just put a date in it. But, you know, let's just do next week. You get the idea, right? So here you will put a video in it and then get instant access. Inst instead of instant access, this will be, um, I would just do book your appointment. All right. So let's go down. Let's click on the sections, um, the green plus icon, and let's go to pre-built sections. So here... I will go to, so first of all, we've done our bit with the headline, the bullet point and the call to action, which is the button. And there's a video as well. That's the bonus. And then we have an attention grabbing, attention grabbing sub headline over the main headline. So, and now we will go to for who this is just me, you know, how I create stuff. So you can just, you know, copy how I do it for yourself. So who is this perfect for instead of who is this perfect for, I will just go with, um, again 48 or this time it could be even smaller so um i would just do why or who is this perfect for let's just go with who is this perfect for and then we'll just do busy office people housewives um 
gym geeks people over 40 i don't know i'm just putting random stuff right so it's just uh you need to basically grab attention of people or you need to relate to people using this section if a busy office person is you know visiting your page if they see this they'll instantly relate okay there's something for me that's that's basically the goal here and i'll just delete this part and then here i'll just do people with back pain people with injuries so that's it so we are grabbing attention uh, of people who are busy in office housewives gym geeks people over 40 or those who are with back pain or with injuries so you know that's that's how i you know usually go about it now we will address the problem so first of all we did our banner and then we grabbed attention of our target audience again by relating through a specific category like uh, and then we'll go back to preview sections and we will just do let's just search for something else so about nope nope so list it is so we will just go with uh does this sound familiar okay so take this section put it on top so first of all call out headline banner section or hero section and then who's this perfect for and then going to does this sound familiar so here you're gonna address the pain points like um, i'm creating a chiropractor funnel for example and this is basically what the chiropractor funnel is uh it can be anything uh it can be a contractor funnel it can be a normal appointment booking funnel this could be a marketing agency funnel so here's where you will address the pain point of your target audience right uh you know what you, what are you suffering with so you've been a busy professional and you don't have any time for any exercise so you're feeling discomfort so that you know that's that's what you can do here uh three or five or seven whatever you can just put it and then don't worry we can help it's fine we'll just go with another one called um let's just go to product section yeah so here is our next section so problem so addressing the problem is the third section here from the top the fourth section is the offer so we've addressed the problem and then we have offered our solution this is basically our solution right so we'll just do the perfect offer stack instead of it um we'll just do the ultimate pain relief plan and then here you, you will put an image and then you'll have some uh you know you'll just have some information about the pricing and how how much it does it cost and instead of instant access you'll just do book your free consultation yeah this is just a testimonial you can definitely put it here 100% risk free no I'll, I, would, I would remove this but if it makes sense for you to keep it just keep it uh and then here the fifth section could be let's just go back to pre-built sections let's just see what we can put here testimonials so i will just put some testimonials in what other what our patients are saying and uh, that's it and then we will just go to the last section which is uh pre-built sections again call to action get started for free instead of get started for free we'll just say book a free uh book a consultation and uh these bits will won't be book your free consultation we'll just do book your consultation right book your appointment it's fine get instant access won't be fine we'll just do book your appointment and then we can put it under this section as well so everything all the buttons will take you to this bit that is the calendar so they can actually they can actually uh select the date and time so book your appointment that's your that's the calendar bit right and then you can also put a footer so just go to pre-built sections there's a footer section we can just select a footer put it there that's it that's your footer so let's go from the top uh we would just um click this button and here instead of um link to we will just do scroll to element and select the element we just need to put the calendar here that's it and now we will just uh, copy this put it here 
and get rid of this again copy this so we just don't have to assign uh, the action to all the buttons we'll just copy keep copying it and pasting it that's it and then copy it again there we go and this is the final section so you can just edit these bits and then make a really nice looking page and go back to uh, talk just talking briefly about the mobile view you you can separately uh, you know put your own sizes for mobile uh, responsiveness as you could as you can see I did it 24 for mobile but for desktop it's still 48 so that's something you can do to make this look a bit better but this is the layout I go with because this is uh, this, this basically follows the ADA model the attention interest desire and action this is the attention this is the attention bit and then from here uh, this is also the attention part of the attention se section so attention and then going to desire sorry going to interest does this sound familiar so we are creating interest by talking about their pain points and then offering the service right the desire section is showing testimonials that they can relate to every time they need to relate to something whenever they're on the on a specific portion of the page right all the users need to relate to something otherwise they won't feel you know they won't feel like sharing their details or you know taking the next step on your page that's the whole point of a landing page right so you need to do that so the testimonials must be must have something where they can relate so i okay this guy had the same problem and got cured i have the same problem i need to get cured as well that's what you need to do in the desire section and the action section is this uh, this bit where they need to take the next set step and then book an appointment. So that's your landing page layout, guys. And it didn't take me a long time. I don't know how many minutes it took, but you know it's really simple to create a landing page like this using pre-built sections. So hopefully uh, this video was useful. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I will see you in the next one.